the pressure but understanding that that other action was going on in, in the same time yeah. we were once again invited I suppose is, is it, we, were, we were once again invited to talk at so we've been invited to talk at the very first council meeting and then after that really the question was all so now what are we doing now yeah, yeah, so we did and then we went to speak to the um, at the next council meeting and pleasantly and quite um, Enthusiastically appreciated, or um, um, by the, the Māori people that were there, mm. um, received, appreciated, you know, received. Um, the vote was different. Well, it was by no means was it unanimous, but it was a different vote. Mm. Mm. I do want to put a put a context, I suppose, prior to the very first one. You know, we look back and we looked at what Māori wars were prior to. Um, the last year anyway. So no money Tai Kua had asked for Māori well, back in 2018. And that had been approved actually by Māori to the District Council. But of course at that time you still had that, that, that part within the law that said if 5% of your population asked for a poll that you have to go, the council has to go with a poll and they have to um, abide by whatever the poll decides. And it's one of the only decisions that, that the public can actually change the council vote on in, in that manner. So inherently racist. It was only there for, um, for Māori wards. Yeah. Um, and it's the only thing that um, you could change it for. So when Nanaia Mahuta took that out as the local government um, minister, she took that little clause out because we'd suffered in one or two, I think Palmerton North City has suffered. And about six or seven others also it made the bold choice back in 2018 to go that way and, pl and Hobson's Pledge came down um, you know, managed to rile up a few people and then they gave everybody else the vote on the right on what they thought was good for Māori. Yeah, the people so, that voted against it weren't Māori that voted against it. Strangely enough. So, <laughs> so, so taking that out was um, really the game changer mm. which is why when it came to 2021 um, Oh, sorry. When we had the, the first, asked the, the council to vote to go yes, I personally was quite surprised because they already said they would do that back in 2018. So I think from that you can take um, a few things. It's about just keeping on with your goal. If I did to Kahurangi um, is one thing, but also about how you can influence things at a council and possibly the same thing at a with any type of governance, if you've got the the right people and, and also the right approach to it. Mm. There was a march, but I think it, on, on behalf of um, everybody was in a, in a good in a good space for it. There was nothing, there was nothing um, violent in the whole march at all. It was about keep to the kaupapa. Yeah, and everybody was very clear. Like so we'd said, we don't want no 1080 signs or mm you know, um, no nuclear testing, whatever, there was this kaupapa, that was the kaupapa that we were walking to council about, and everyone was all on the same wavelength. Yeah. 